so ready for another load of black parts. So the last episode I showed you how I set these up on little stands and the reason for that is to make sure I get the paint on the reverse edges as well and then all the tail lights, indicators, all that sort of stuff, even the locks. I'm not a big fan of painting the locks but um, Adam says that's what we want so that's what he'll get. I don't know how durable that'll be and then we've got a range of stainless steel and mild steel a little bit of copper so I'll get um, get my gear on and we'll start off with the black epoxy and then go base coat and the satin clear So hopefully the last run of black parts I've got to do. So we did the door handles in the blue, but really wasn't looking very too much very 80s and decided not to do that. Um, grill surround, bumpers, and I ran out of room for these yesterday, so the headlight surround. So I've just put a little bit of CF black epoxy on those, being bare aluminium. The rest of the parts. Um, I'll put some ground coat on the, the white parts and then this little trim here is a bit too dry, it's a drip gutter, I'm just going to whack a coat of clear on that as well. So we'll get into it. So Louise is doing the edits, she said Dad where's the pictures of the stuff when it's black? So it was on a sad day and I hadn't done it so I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown with it now. So that was what you've seen in the booth, um, they came up really nice and what people don't probably understand with this sort of process is how much time is involved to mask everything up so that you can get a decent result and then what you're looking on the car now is what they are after so that's the matching um, satin clear that's on everything and if we come down the back here on Sunday I reloaded the booth and did the bumpers um, so that's the rear one there got that nice sheen so I'm about to fit that and the taillight rings and all that were in that first load I've put those back in the taillights now and just dummy those up to have a look to work out how that's going. The other parts that were amongst all that was these little bars on the front here um, that we had the chrome stripped off so I've painted all those obviously the front bumpers, these surrounds and this big surround so it was quite a lot of um, small black parts that all add up and then if I spin the camera around here this is the remainder of it so what we're looking at here is the the drip gutters um, so they were stainless and then the rubber holders and all the chrome to go around the windows so it's all done now um, only got a matter of a few days left now of assembly before Adam comes and picks it up uh, on the 23rd of December Righto, so the last job, so I've just got to do the underside now. I've sort of left it because the, the bonnet's been sitting on the table, you know, with me rubbing, polishing, all those sorts of things. So I'm going to hit this wet on wet with the um, Delflete. So I'll put the 4949 down and then put the mat, um, and that'll match everything else in the engine bay. And I'm just masking off with some fine line. So I, I'll keep all my blue edges and then all the rest will be black. So I'll get that all masked up, get the other side done. So it looks pretty good on this side now with it um, hanging up like that, half shiny and half in the matte black. So I'll be looking forward to get that done and we can bolt it on tomorrow. So here we go, their first look. So. Adam had been up to PPG but Kylie hasn't seen the car since it was bare metal so she was pretty much blown away because she hadn't seen it, the smile on her face there but the reason I'm doing a voiceover is unfortunately we um, messed up the sound on it so um, it's all part of that learning curve, you'll see me walking around with the microphone a bit now so the, the readings are different and we weren't using a mic off the camera but anyhow, all good, so you can see they're just trying to take it all in 
So I've spent a fair bit more time just getting that finish up nice since it's been back from PPG and Kylie and I went over it and she'll actually do some more improvements before summer nets. And that's one of those evolving things that takes time. You can see the underside of the bonnet there now, so that whole engine bay is done in the Dell fleet, uh, just in a satin black. So that's straight off the gun, nice finish. And I think the way the car looks now is very on trend and current, having just been to SEMA. I'm sure this car would fit straight in over there with the styling, with the black. Just that little tiny bit of silver on, on you know, a really current car. And as you can see, as it comes into the sun, it lightens up a lot. The lines have all come out nice. That extra work we put into the body probably put about 40 hours into the steel work um, to get it from where Adam had got it to to make sure it was going to have that nice look. A fair bit to do with getting some of the bonnet gaps and that front nose to, to fit correctly. And I think overall now, once it gets on the ground with the big wheels under it, get some glass in it, it'll be a stunning car. I must admit I wasn't too sure about all of this satin black, but I think you've got to admit it looks really good now. So this is um, a couple of days before Christmas. So they'll take it home now, put it into their shop, get the suspension under it, get the wheels on it so that we can get it down to a ride height to have it on the stand at, um, at Summonat. So we'll be on PPG Corner, it'll be in the marquee there. We'll have some of our signs up. We'll have a few videos running and I'll be around the place and Louise will be there. we set up a table there and Louise will be editing our summer nets footage as well on site and hopefully get that up sort of prime time. So thanks for following us. Just to give you an idea, there's probably between three and 400 hours work to get this car to where it is. And why I say three to 400 is because we're filming in a lot of cases that takes more time. So in this particular job I did a fixed price for Adam and Kylie so that I could spend the time I needed to do the filming and take it up to the centre. And um, I think all around everyone's got a job. They said to me the other day about they're doing a nut Chevy Nomad at the moment and I said don't ask me to do that buddy Nomad and they said well you weren't going to do this one either so I don't know that um, that will happen but we never say never I guess. So I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, it's been a good experience to work along with a, a different brand and a, a different shaped car. But it's always good to work with the team at PPG to get this sort of result. And be able to handball it on now and they can take it away and fit it out and get it all finished and get it ready for the road for Jason to actually um, get a bit of use out of it. But thanks for following. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe because we've got a whole lot more coming your way in the new year.